Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about what are, in my opinion, the best transmog sets you can farm in World of Warcraft in order to make a lot of gold. So in order to make this top 10, that is actually going to be a top 12 of all the best transmog sets that you can farm in WoW, I will be using three things. First of all, the overall price, price of all the different pieces of the set. I will try to always make the difference between EU and US prices because on some cases it can be very, very different. Then I will of course use the average sell rate because even if a set can sell for a lot of gold, if the sell rate is very, very bad, then it might be better to farm another set that is selling for a little bit less. And finally, is it a unique appearance or not? Because if you can get the same appearance of this transmog set through other means, then of course people are gonna have less incentives to buy these different transmog sets from the auction house. So I will go from the worst one, I mean the worst one in this top 12, to the first one and really I will try each time to explain how you can farm these different sets and what is my personal experience selling and farming these sets. So let's start with number 12 and at number 12 we have the primordial set. So this set sells on average for 160k gold on EU realms and 145k gold on US realms and the best pieces are of course the chests the legs and the belt. So this set was originally added in Vanilla Wo, but the or original sources of these items have been removed from the game. Nowadays, if you want to get it, you need to go on the Island of Thunder from Mist of Pandaria, and you can easily get the set by killing all the different trash from the island. So I would say that this is a pretty easy set to get and this is why I'm putting it at number 12. But as you can see, the sell rate is not so good. So it will be a little bit slow to sell all these different pieces, but still in general, you will be able to sell a couple of these pieces, if not in a couple of weeks, maybe in a couple of months. So still something great to have up on your auction hours. And this is a really cool looking set. So a lot of people will be interested in using it and in buying these different items. At number 11, we have the famous Scarlet set. So I'm pretty sure that most of you are aware of this set. It has been released in Vanilla Wo and it was obtainable through the Scarlet Monastery. So this set has been used by so many people because this is a perfect set to roleplay and this is also a perfect set to impersonate a Scarlet Crusader character. Right now, the full set sells for a million and 460k gold on EU realms and a million and 215k gold on US realms. And keep in mind that there is only five pieces. So this is a pretty, pretty good amount for each of these uh, pieces. If the prices are so high, this is because of the fact that this set has been removed from the game during a long period of time. And I believe a couple of years ago, it has been added again. So you can still get these different items through the Scarlet Monastery, but the drop rate is very, very low. So it's still pretty difficult to get them. And that's why the prices are so high. The only downside of this set is that first of all, this is only for male wearer and also there is, uh, for a couple of years now, another way to get this appearance, and this is through the Darkwind Fair. If you get the Crusader, a Scarlet Crusader tabard, you can then have access to a vendor on the island that will sell you the entire appearance for only 10k gold. So as you can imagine, between a million gold and 10k, probably a lot of people will decide to farm the tabard and then go on the island and buy the, the appearance. Of course, the tabard is still pretty rare as well, but I'm sure that many people prefer doing it this way. So for this reason, um, I'm not putting this set at a really, really like a strong rank in this top 10, 12, because again, it's going to be pretty difficult to sell them. As you can see, I myself have a couple of pieces, but I mean, I never 
really, I've never been able to sell them. Again, I'm playing on the lower pop realm, so people don't really have a lot of gold to spend on things such as, you know, like these two armor pieces. But still, it's pretty low, pretty slow, and pretty difficult to sell these items. So that's why they're only on my number 11. So at number 10, we have our first island expedition set. And this set is the Tranquil Path set. So this is um, like duplicate of the monk set from uh, Mr. Pandaria. And this is a set that is worth between 339k gold on E realms and 1 million and 200k gold on US realms. So a very big gap between US and EU realms. In order to get this uh, set, you will need to do the different islands. You can also buy the Ungol Rune Salvage if you want. So in order to buy these different crates, you just need to come here in the port of Zondalard, just here where you can uh, directly queue for the different island expeditions. And you can talk to this vendor and he will sell each week different type of salvages. And in order to get certain uh, type of items, you will need to buy specific type of salvages. So for this specific set, it is indeed the Ungol runes salvage that you will need to purchase. So this set is pretty good, but there is um, one thing that is unfortunately a little bit uh, annoying is the fact that some of these uh, armor pieces are also available through the normal Mr. Madaria raid. So as you can see, this is the case, for instance, of the wrist, the boots, the belt, but some of her parts are only available for monk. So if, for instance, a druid or rogue are trying to get these different appearances, they will have to buy the transmog. And so this is why, for instance, the shoulder, the helm, the legs and the chest are very, very good and will sell for a lot. So this is a pretty interesting set, but not the best one, especially not the best one from the island exped expeditions. So now at number nine, we have another island expedition set. And this time, this is the Dragon Rider set. This one sells for, on average, 111k gold on E realms and 196k gold on US realms. The best pieces are the chest and the shoulders. And this set is a unique appearance. So this is a really interesting set um, to get. So as you can see from here, uh, some of the pieces have like a pretty good set rate between 0 0.01 to 0 0.02. And then the chest, which is the best part of the set, has a set rate of 0 0.08, which is extremely good for an item selling for 50k gold on average. So this set again is available through the Island Expedition. And if you want to buy a specific salvage in order to get the set, you will need to buy the Venture Co Salvage. So this is not too difficult to get, but again, as this is Island Expeditions, a lot of people are not bothering doing these different expeditions. And that's why they're purchasing all these different items from the auction house. So definitely a good set to have up on your auction house. At number eight, we have another expedition set, and this time this is the Frost Wind set. Uh, this is a recolor of the tier set for mages uh, from the Ragnaros raid in Cataclysm. This set sells on average for 142k gold on EU realms and 450k gold on US realms, and the best pieces are the helm, the shoulder, and the chest. So this set is pretty interesting. It has a really, really interesting appearance and a lot of people are using it as a transmog. The only issue I would say is that again, the set rate is pretty lo slow, so low. So as you can see, 0 0.02 for the shoulders. So it means that it will sell pretty slowly, but still this is an interesting set to have up on your auction house and I would say that the value is very, very interesting, especially on US realms, 450k gold for the entire set. So definitely something you want to have on your auction house. And if you want to buy it through uh, salvage, this is the Dread Chain Salvage. So again, not too difficult to get, but still annoying because you need to do these expeditions. So if you can just purchase it directly from the auction house when someone doesn't know the value and they are selling it for a very cheap price or just farm the 
salvages and the islands and you should be able to get it pretty easily. So now at number 7 we have yet another expedition island set. So this time this is the spirit boat set and this is a recolor from the tier set for druids from the Ragnaros raid uh, from Cataclysm. This set sells on average for 277k gold on EU and 589k gold on US realms. This is uh, still a very, very interesting set, especially because this is another unique appearances. So again, you cannot get this uh, set through other means. The only issue is that uh, the set rate is pretty low as well on this uh, set. So as you can see, 0 0.01 on most of the pieces. So even if the value is very, very high, maybe you want to consider instead to farm something like the dragon rider set or maybe something like uh you know the first win set that have a little better uh set rate but still the value is good enough so you can make some gold so even if it takes a little bit of time you will i'm sure make some profit with these items in order to get this set you want to buy the verdant wild salvage and of course, after that, you can purchase it directly from the auction house for a cheap price if people are selling it uh, for a cheap price or by farming it through the island expeditions. So now at number six, we have two replica sets. So for those of you who don't know the replica sets, basically during Vanilla, you had two uh, tier sets, the tier 0 and tier 0 0.5 that were available and they have been removed since then. And instead of making them available again, Blizzard decided to create some replica sets that you can purchase with the Dark Moon Fair tickets. So all these different sets are unique, but some of them are sharing appearances with uh, some heirlooms. So when you are buying some of these uh, sets, you need to really focus on the ones that are fully, um, fully unique. I already made a video on how to make gold with the Dark Moon Fair and I'm explaining in this video what are the best replica sets and how you can uh, farm all the different uh, tickets. For instance, you can easily buy uh, some of these uh, packs from the Black Market Auction House where you will receive between uh, 250 and 500 tickets. On average, it will cost you, I believe, between 550 and 700 tickets. So this is almost a full set just with this pack. When it comes to the best sets, I would say that there is the Dark Mental set. So the Dark Mental sets will sell on average for 417k gold on EU and 490 gold on US realms. The best pieces being the shoulders, the helm, the chest, and the legs. But all of them are pretty interesting. Of course, the wrists, not really. After that, you also have the Heroism set, which is uh, the tier 0 0.5 for Warriors. And this one is also selling pretty well. And you have other interesting uh, replica sets. I'm thinking especially about the Hunter one, uh, the Warlock. But really, if you want to start farming some of them, I would recommend starting with the Dark Mental and then with the Heroism one. So these are really, in my opinion, the two sets that you will be able to sell um, the fastest and the ones that sell uh yeah the best so this is my number six and these replica sets are very interesting after that we have one of the most famous transmog sets that you can farm and this is the glorious set so the glorious set had a very very good value in the past but as so many people have been farming these different pieces and as probably like a lot of people have now learned the different appearances the prices crashed a lot so now you can sell it on um, eu realm for 96k on average and on us realms for 138k gold on average so the best part is of course the legs that will sell for probably like 60 or 70 percent of the overall price then you have the shoulders the boots and the gloves these are the best pieces you want to sell from this set. So the glorious set, you can get it through different means, but the most famous one is uh, simply to go in um, in Cilitis, uh, 
Oh, sorry, I'm not there in Silitus, and uh, you can kill some uh, mobs here. It's very easy. It's not, um, I would say, too challenging. It would probably like, take you a couple of hours to get the legs, but overall, this is very, very uh, accessible. It's just a matter of how patient you are with the farm. Uh, you have many different videos online on how to do this farm, and you can check and you can also check directly in the group search here in the custom you will sometimes find some silitus uh farm but yeah so this glorious set is uh still my number five probably like i would have done this uh this video a couple of years ago it would have been number one by far but nowadays there are other sets that are way more interesting than the glorious set so let's now talk about the number four which is the time worn set so this one is a little bit similar to the primordial set this is also a set uh, that you can get from the island of thunder the average uh set rate of uh, the average uh, value of this set is 160k uh, gold on eu realms and 140k gold on us realms so the best pieces are the shoulders the legs and the helm this is a unique appearance it was previously available, I believe, during the Burning Crusade through Zul Aman, but it has still uh, um, it has been removed. So now it's only available through the different pieces you can get uh, from the Island of Thunder. As you can see, all these different items have a really good value, and some of them have, I mean, a pretty decent sell rate, 0 0.02. Again, this is not uh, so good, but this is still interesting enough um, to have it up on your auction house. And as you can see. Most of them have like a really like a good value. So the entire set is interesting, I would say. So this is, uh, in my opinion, a very easy set to farm. You just need, again, to do a couple of farms in the Island of Thunder. And most likely after one or two hours, you will get most of the pieces. Uh, but yeah, this is something that uh, I've always uh, sold for a lot on the auction house and so this is why I wanted to put it at number four because even if for instance the glorious set uh, you have the legs that can sell for more and that have a better set rate or maybe the dragon rider set I would say that overall I've had more sales with this uh, time worn set than with the other ones so I'm putting it at number four and also this is very easy to farm so that's why it's my number four so let's now start with our top three and at number three, we have a very, very cool looking set. And this is the Razorfin set. So this is another Island Expedition set. This is a recolor version of the tier set for Paladins from the Ragnaros Raid Cataclysm. This set is selling on average for 405k gold on EU and 975k gold on US. And the best pieces are the shoulders, the chest, and the helm. So this is another set that you can acquire through the island expedition so it can be a little bit annoying but you can also obtain these different pieces through the rotting mire salvage in general i would say that the average sell rate is pretty good uh, even if it has decreased a little bit for most of them usually it's more than 0 0.01 again right now it decreased a little bit but i've sold so many of these armor pieces that I can safely say that you will be able to sell them um, not too fast, but pretty fast. So this is for me really one set that I'm always trying to have at least some pieces up on the auction house and a set that a lot of people will purchase because, well, it's very, very good design. The color is amazing, the blue. And yes, so many people are using it as a transmog. So... Trust me, you will be able to make a lot of sales if you have this set up on your auction house. Now, at number two, we have another Island Expedition set. And this one is also really interesting. Uh, this is the Firekin set. This one is also a recorder from the Druid tier set uh, from Cataclysm. And it was a set that a lot of people, especially Druids, were asking for because a lot of uh, normal characters in the games were having this uh, appearance, but it was not available 
uh, to players. So when it has been released with the Island Expedition, a lot of people farmed these different items and they were selling for a lot. So right now the value on average for E Realms is 370k gold and 70 and uh, 70 720k gold for US realms. So the best pieces are the shoulders, the chest, the gloves, and the helm. In order to get the set, you want to buy the elemental salvage. And of course, you can also sometimes find some very cheap auctions on the auction house. Especially, I recommend you to check the Undermine Journal. So the sell rate, again, on this set is not too bad. As you can see, for instance, the shoulders, they have like a 0 0.03 sell rate which is pretty good and then the rest is probably going to be like around 0 0.01 and 0 0.03 this is a unique appearance so again a lot of people will buy it for sure and for me this is really i would say one of the best sets you can uh, sell on the auction house especially of course the few pieces i've listed because who like who is going to buy for instance you know the like wrist no one but all the rest people will most likely buy them. So I'm putting this uh, set at number two, but there is still one that is even better than that. Okay, and so for the number one, we have another Expedition Island set, and this time this is the Dusk Haven set. So this set is worth between 477k gold on EU and 570 4k gold on us and the best part of this set is of course the helm but the chest can also sell for quite a lot if you want to get this um this set you need to purchase the avens wood salvage crate and you can sometimes also find some cheap auctions on the auction house so this uh, set is really really uh, interesting in terms of the looks especially the helm is really cool um, this is like perfect if you want to have like something a little bit classy or if you want really to portray the little goblin uh, that is you know like selling a lot of things so this is a trend smog that is being used by a lot of people the start rate is okay as you can see some pieces have 0 0.02 and this one has 0 0.01 because the, the the value is just very very high but again Trust me, you can sell them for a lot. I sold a couple of these hats for more than 300k gold. So I can tell you like they will sell 100% sure. This is, in my opinion, one of the best sets you can get uh, and you can sell on the auction house. So if I were you, I will definitely try to put my hands on this set and to have it up on my auction house. So that's it for today's video. Of course, there are many other Transmog sets that I could have uh, mentioned. I'm especially thinking about, for instance, the different um, sets from Vanilla Woe, the Vanguard, the Jade, the Bloodlust. Also, some of the sets you can craft, such as all the different Mist of Pandaria Gladiator sets. Um, also, the, for instance, Vanilla Black Dragon Scale sets. But on average, all these different sets are not worth more than 50k gold or maybe a little bit more, but they were not interesting enough, in my opinion, to be part of this, uh, this top 12 best tier sets to sell. But if you have anything that I forgot, if you have any sets that you think could have made this top 12, please let me know in the comments and I will be more than happy to look into that and see if I was wrong or not. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you will be able to uh, farm some of these sets and to make some gold with all these different transmog pieces. Again, keep in mind that transmogs tend to sell pretty slowly. So these are the type of items you want to just have on your auction house and they will sell maybe eventually, but this, is, this should not be your main source of uh, gold, of revenue. But still, I'm happy to uh, share this top 12 with you and I will be back very soon with more videos so stay tuned. Bye.